Good morning. Welcome. We're looking today at 1 Samuel chapter 20, verses 35 to 42. Let's read it, then we'll think about it together. And so it was in the morning that Jonathan went out into the field at the time appointed with David, and a little lad was with him. Then he said to his lad, Now run, find the arrows which I shoot. As the lad ran, he shot an arrow beyond him. When the lad had come to the place where the arrow was, which Jonathan had shot, Jonathan cried out after the lad and said, Is not the arrow beyond you? And Jonathan cried out after the lad, Make haste, hurry, do not delay. So Jonathan's lad gathered up the arrows and came back to his master. But the lad did not know anything. Only Jonathan and David knew of the matter. Then Jonathan gave his weapons to his lad and said to him, Go, carry them to the city. As soon as the lad had gone, David arose from a place toward the south, fell on his face to the ground, and bowed down three times. And they kissed one another, and they wept together, but David more so. Then Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, since we have both sworn in the name of the Lord, saying, May the Lord be between you and me, and between your descendants and my descendants forever. So he arose and departed, and Jonathan went into the city. So this is the culmination of this uh, series of, uh, we've been looking at morning by morning. Saul has been determining evil against David. David says, look, this is kind of unlivable. I've really come to this spot where there's nothing more I can do. I've tried to be reconciled to him. Jonathan says, let me try one more time. Let me sound out my father. And then I'll make this, they made up this signal, this plan about shooting the arrows, which we've already talked about. We won't talk about it this morning. So uh, now we come to the time when uh, Jonathan comes and he lets David know, yes, my father has determined ill against you. And so, yes, you need to leave. And they took that as a sign from the Lord that it was time for David to go, David to move on. And so they're very sad because these are these men are faithful to each other. They're close friends. They both admire each other's uh, warrior skills and godly demeanor. And David's going to trust the Lord, and Jonathan's going to trust the Lord, and David and Jonathan now are going to separate. And David's going to become a man who's kind of on the run, as, as we know the story. Well, we've already talked about the fact that there are times when we didn't really feel like moving on. We thought we were in the right place. We thought we were doing the right thing. We thought we were justified in that, and yet... God has a plan, and God wants us to move on. Now, David's going to make some missteps along the way, and, you know, often you and I will make some missteps along the way, but we're trying to find out what God's will is, and David is trying to trying to be true to God's will for him, although this is just extremely saddening to him. So, David is going to flee now for his life, but he's going to trust the Lord, and it looks like, you know, you've lost everything and yet, you haven't lost anything if God is on your side. So there are times in our life when things just don't work out the way that we anticipate, the way that we think that it should be. And you know what? We can uh, trust the Lord. Many times we're very stubborn. We're very sure it needs to be our way. I'm in the right, and I can prove I'm in the right, and I can take that person down who's persecuting me. But sometimes, friends, sometimes God wants us to back off, and he says, you know, I'll take care of the bullies. You go on. What's that between me and you? You go on and, and go to this. I've got another assignment for you right now. Go to it. Something to keep in mind as we see David and Jonathan. Uh, David doesn't go storming into the palace and, and challenge Saul to a life to the death duel. David goes his way. We can leave things with the Lord. Trust the Lord and go our way as long as we're still walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us in our lives to find your will. Many times there will be a path. It seems like we don't want to take that path, and yet it will be a path that you have for us. So help us when we come to those times. Help us to be willing to trust you and to take the path, even though it doesn't. that path doesn't please our flesh. It doesn't please our habits or our desires. Sometimes we will deal with it directly as you lead us, but many times, Lord, you will lead us to shake the dust off our feet and go on to the next town, the next city. Lord, be our helper as we struggle sometimes against our own tendencies, our own desires. May our desires be submitted to your desires, and you be our leader. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Let God be your leader day by day in every event and in all the pieces of your life. And I'm sure that God will bless you. You may have to move a long ways away. You may have to go into a totally different line than you expected. But if God is in it, then that's where you want to be. God be with you today in all that you do.